this is Stumpy, and welcome to a Terraria Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stumpy's Wonderful World! In this episode, I am starting a new project. Uh, this is a uh, another suggestion uh, that was given to me by King Tiger, uh, who's the person who suggested a million amazing uh, ideas for me. So once again, thank you very much, King Tiger. <laughs> and his idea was to try and get Truffle to show up. And um, I don't entirely know who Truffle is, uh, but apparently if I build myself a mushroom biome and then put a house there, uh, then Truffle will uh, show up and uh, then he I can buy a mushroom spear off him. And apparently, uh, the mushroom spear is uh, is pretty good, and uh, yeah, so it's uh, it's worth doing. So uh, the first things first is I need to make myself a uh, a mushroom biome, and uh, it needs to to grow on mud, uh, according to to King Tiger. And I have no reason not to trust him. <laughs> He's not done me any wrong yet. Uh, so let's go let's go grab a, a bunch of this mud, and then I need uh, some seeds as well. Mushroom seeds. I do have them, don't I? There we go. I got three mushroom seeds. Um, I'll take two of them, and I'll leave one safe there, uh, just because I only have three of them. I don't want to end up losing some. And all. Oh, I can have some pad tie as well because that's just going to go and uh, get all of my stats up. How much does it uh, help me by... Um uh, it's hard to tell. Minor improvement to all stats. Okay, I don't think it, it does a big difference. It just says I'm well fed. <laughs> Alright then, so I need mud. And I also need to build a house. So I guess I need all of the uh, the things uh, to, to make a, a lovely house as well. So my idea was, is I'm just going to build it out of, uh, of stone or, uh, or grey brick. Which might sound boring, uh, but I'm then going to, to paint it. And I'm going to paint it, I think, uh, red with white dots, uh, kind of like the uh, the stereotypical mushroom. So that's what the uh, uh, the plan is. Uh, so what else do I need then? I need uh, a bed uh, as well. Uh, so let's go and uh, and make a, a bed then. Let's go upstairs and uh, go and get some uh, some silk, uh, and then I can uh, make a bed. And uh, yeah, once I think I've built the uh, the biome. And uh, the uh, the start of the house. Uh, then I'm going to go and uh, worry a little bit more about decoration. But I think the uh, the bed's pretty important, uh, and uh, I can make a cool bed actually. I'm so used to just being able to make one type of everything, uh, but I should be able uh, to make a pretty cool looking bed. So let's just scroll through them and uh, see which one uh, takes our fancy, which one uh, we think a truffle would like. <laughs> so there's just the normal bed. Then there's the ebon wood bed, the mahogany bed. Um, oh, tell you what, why don't we go and do everything dynasty style? As soon as we got the uh, the Dynasty wood recently. Let's go and uh, do it in that style. So it's going to be a Middle Eastern mushroom. That's going to be the uh, the theme of the uh, the house. <laughs> so let's go and grab uh, a whole bunch of this uh, this Dynasty wood, and uh, so we can use that uh, to make most of the uh, the furniture. I can also uh, go and grab some of these things that I had left over. These uh, lamps and uh, this little chair down here. And uh, yeah, let's go and uh, make the uh, the bed for now though, because uh, that's one of the the most important thing. There it is there, and also one of the uh, the workbenches as well. I think they need to, to be in as well. So there's the uh, the dynasty workbench and everything else uh, we can make when we uh, when we get there. And I'm going to show you uh, where it is I decided uh, to build this uh, this mushroom biome. And I would have done it in a a biome box, uh, but I didn't really want to just because uh, this truffle person has to live in there, <laughs> and I don't really want to to make him live in a big glass cage. And also, there's not really much more room for another one of these biome boxes. So I'm just going to go and uh, just try and build uh, myself my very own little biome, uh, kind of right about here. I was thinking of. If I get rid of all of this dirt here, I could try and build it right in this uh, this area here. So this is all a bit floating and a little bit weird. Uh, so I might get rid of all of this and then I'll change the, the dirt underneath this area to, to mud. And uh, then if I plant the uh, the seeds, uh, hopefully it's going to change into a, uh, a mushroom biome. So let's go and uh, destroy all of this dirt first. Uh, luckily, my pickaxe is so amazingly good now. It takes uh, no time at all uh, just to go and uh, destroy it all. And uh, then at some point, I'm going to go and destroy all of the... Um, uh, all of the uh, the background dirt as well and <laughs> look at that little corruptor thing that just came to annoy me and yeah I basically didn't have to change anything that I was doing <laughs> it's so nice to be this strong now and I'm not always feeling this strong uh, sometimes when I'm going up against really bad googlies I still feel very overpowered but it's nice to face things like zombies that were quite tough at the start and you know just hit them once and they're just gone it does a uh, it does feel quite cool uh, so yeah let's go and uh, keep getting rid of this and there is quite a lot of a uh, uh, dirt wall in the the background I actually don't think I've got any of my other tools on me. I think um, uh, when I went mining in the, the last episode, I decided uh, to drop them all so I wouldn't be uh, carrying them all around with me. Uh, so yeah, to destroy the, the dirt wall, I'm going to have to go and uh, grab that at some point. And all actually... 
I need to make sure uh, that the uh, the house uh, does have a, a proper background wall as well. Uh, otherwise, I don't think it's counted as a, as a house. There's a, a few requirements, and I can't remember exactly what they are, but I know it needs to be of a certain size. It needs to have a bed, then I think it needs either a workbench or a table in it. And, uh, and then, yeah, it needs to be completely filled in with no gaps, and it needs a door, and it needs a, a background wall. So they're the, uh, the basic requirements for a, a house. Uh, but yeah, we can go a, a little bit more fancy. Do you think I should make it in the shape of a mushroom? I'm not sure how I would do that because um, I want to make sure he can uh, easily get into it. And so if I did a mushroom, I could maybe do, uh, I don't know, some sort of ladder or something. I just want to make sure that he can get in. Yeah, maybe we could have a, a door and then like um, just platforms to jump up and then the house in the, the top. Uh, hopefully uh, that would be uh, okay and uh, still count uh, as being uh, all right for him spawning there though. But I think, uh, I think I'll risk it. I think I'll do it. And if he doesn't show up, I can change it or do uh, another house. Uh, but yeah, I think it will look uh, cool enough. I'm going to go and try and give that a, a go. So now I'm just going to destroy this this big layer of dirt then I'm gonna go and place mud down underneath it I think I just do one block for for now just so it can spread and I can start making it uh, into a, a mushroom biome and then yeah if I want later on I can go and make it a little bit deeper so let's go and grab all of my mud and uh, let's uh, ignore this blue slime for now because he shouldn't be much trouble <laughs> and if I just kind of keep going back and forth like this I should start filling in uh, all of the the gaps that I missed uh, let me go and get a, a pickaxe and break these uh, away uh, I have never been good at uh, building into area so <laughs> you just have to excuse me as I could have like fumble my way around through it all I'm not quick and I'm not neat but I end up getting what I want done done and I guess that's what uh, what matters at the the end of the day so I can go and slope this down here a little bit like this so there we go here is my nice muddy platform, which is hopefully uh, going to change uh, into the, the biome. And look, there's a duck. <laughs> Hello, duck. Oh, no, don't fly away. Come back, ducky. Come back. There we go. I was able to, to catch the, the duck. I'm still uh, yet uh, to, to find a way to display them properly. But uh, yeah, I always try and catch them when I can. And I'll uh, see if I can add it to Animal Island at some point in the, the future. Right, here we go. Here is uh, what is to be my mushroom biome. Actually, I can put down my cool dynasty lamp down here to, to light things up a bit. So I think I should just be able to, to place the the seeds uh, on the the ground like this and there we go uh, this should now uh, start spreading oh I think are these glowing mushrooms it just says mushroom grass seeds. Hopefully, these are the, the right ones that we want. Uh, but yeah, it seems to be very glowing. This looks cool. I didn't realize it was going to be blue. It's like the, um, uh, you know, the, the mushroom biomes uh, that you find deep in the uh, the caves underground. I think uh, that's what it's like. I'm kind of a little bit scared to, to stand around here uh, just because uh, I know the, the grass is spreading and I don't want to, to muck it up at all. I guess I can go and start uh, working on the, the house anyway. So uh, yeah, it is going to be made out of stone. Uh, so at first, it might look quite boring but then i'm gonna go absolutely crazy with the uh, the pen and uh the the pen the paint sorry <laughs> and decorate it and make it look cool so this is going to be the entrance way here and so this is kind of like the uh, the stem of the uh, the mushroom going up. And uh, then I need to try and make a, a mushroom shape uh, at the uh, the top. Do you get many mushrooms in this game? I kind of want to look at a mushroom just to kind of remember uh, what it looks like. I, I think I could do it okay. It's kind of just like, um, it kind of goes pretty flat along the, uh, the sides here, doesn't it? Uh, and then it kind of, um, uh, yeah, like mushrooms round, kind of like that shape, uh, but a lot bigger. So I'm going to go a little bit higher, like to, to maybe about here. Here, and then I'm going to go and start uh, mushrooming out at the the tops so if I kind of just go straight like this and then just start kind of sloping it up and in. I want to make sure it's big enough though, because I can't remember what the requirements are. I think if I do this in both directions, then slope it, it should be okay. So let me count how long this is. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, two. 12, <laughs> 13 out in this direction. Right, so if I go 13 out in this direction at all, I can see the, the grass is spreading already. Jolly good. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. So now I can start building it up and in. So if I go up 2 maybe, and then in, and then if I now start just kind of going like this, do you think this is going to make a, a good mushroom shape? I think this is actually looking okay. It does look a little bit like an umbrella. 
<laughs> which isn't the uh, the design I was going for. Um, but oh well, <laughs> close enough. I think once it's in mushroom colors, I think then it's going to, to start looking quite cool. So let's keep uh, kind of building up like this. And then maybe we're flattening it out a little bit at the uh, the top. Because uh, it's starting to, to look a little bit weird now, isn't it? Uh, if we maybe uh, here kind of start leveling it out like this. Um, it's kind of mushroom shaped. It's, um, it's a little bit weird, but I can always go and uh, uh, change it a little bit later on. Uh, all I need it to be is uh, considered as a house though. Uh, and then uh, truffle uh, should hopefully show up. So let's just go and uh, try and get it at least uh, so it looks like uh, a little bit like a house. And uh, then we can go and try and redesign uh, it and reshape it uh, a little bit later on. So, oh, that's uh, almost perfect. I think I uh, linked it up a little bit too soon. Let's go and break away uh, some of these blocks. I need to go like this and then like that. There we go. Is that wonky or is that okay? No, I think that I think that actually uh, looks okay. Uh, so now I need to, to go down here and I, of course, need uh, to make a way for us to actually get into it. Uh, so let's go and uh, break this away. And uh, this is where I can put a, a door down. So let me go up here and I might as well put the uh, the bed down here, even though we don't have any walls or anything, any uh, background walls at least. <laughs> uh, let's actually just put the, the bed back a little bit. I don't want it uh, so uh, when he stands up, he's going to bang his head, but that should be okay there. And then on the, uh, the other side here, I can add down my uh, tiny little chair uh, as well as the uh, the uh, the workbench here, which is going to be a little bit like a table. So let's put the the chair down this way. There we go. And uh, now I can go and make myself uh, a door. So as I said, I'm going to be trying to use Dynasty wood uh, for everything. And while I'm here, I might as well make myself uh, another chair and uh, see what else I can make. Oh, I can make a uh, a nicer uh, lantern. Uh, that looks pretty cool, doesn't it? And uh, we can maybe make a few of these uh, these smaller ones. I could put one of these on the uh, the table. Uh, that could look quite cool. And uh, what else could we? do then so these are just uh, torches and things i could put a bowl a dynasty bowl i could go and put that down if i want uh these are just normal wooden fences i've already got the the workbench here we go this is the uh, the table this is what i was after uh did i go past it there we go that's the dynasty one that one looks quite cool and then to to get up Let's see if you can do any dynasty platforms. I don't think you can. Uh, so let's just do some uh, normal wooden ones for, for now. And look, I just saw the uh, the bookcase there as well. I could go and uh, get some books and uh, add that in. Uh, but for now, uh, let's go and try and just get this uh, finished off. Uh, so it is considered uh, a house. Uh, because yeah, then hopefully uh, Truffle's going to, to show up. So let me go and uh, grab my door. And I can go and place that down right about here. Uh, like this. And uh, I'm not going to change the, the ground yet. Because uh, I want to keep the uh, the grass spreading. And oh, it looks like if you see to the, the right, it looks like my... My first mushroom has begun sprouting. Jolly good. <laughs> right, so let's go up here now. And uh, I'm going to go and uh, put the, the lantern on the, the top up here. That looks quite good. It's slightly wonky, which is annoying me. But apart from that, it looks quite good. And uh, I'm going to go and add down the uh, uh, the little bowl as well as this uh, this chair here. Uh, do a little bit of uh, decorating. And uh, then I'm going to add the uh, the platforms going upstairs uh, so you can actually get up here. And it looks like I can't fit the bowl on the table. Can I put it on the candle? Can I put it on the floor down here? Nope. Okay, it looks like I'm going to have to make another table able to put that down on anyway right, let's go and uh, add in these uh, these platforms if I kind of do them uh, just to, to head height and do some there as well and then I do these ones a little bit higher like that so you can easily go and uh, jump up and get inside of the big mushroom it does look okay actually it does look uh, kind of like a, a mushroom it's really just the uh, the color uh, which is uh, mucking things up so let's go and uh, get myself some paint and I can also uh, grab my tools. Which which uh, which chest did I put my tools in? Are they in here? Uh, oh, there's a pickaxe there. Let's see what else I got. Here we go. Here's my uh, my hammer, which I can use to destroy the the background wall. Uh, and uh, let's see if I if I got an axe. Here. There we go. And here's my axe as well. So there we go. I got all of my tools on me again. And uh, now let's see if we can go and uh, grab myself some of the uh, the paint. And uh, as soon as uh, that place is considered as a as a mushroom biome, uh, hopefully he's going to to show up. So here's a uh, Bruno. I can go and buy. Uh, a whole load of uh, of red paint. Uh, let's just buy as much as I can of this, and uh, then I can also uh, go and buy some uh, some white paint, uh, which is just going to be for like the uh, the little specks. I'm not sure uh, how much money I had on myself actually. I've got a little bit more than I thought. I might as well uh, just spend uh, all of my money on this paint because it's going to be quite handy. And then I got to go and uh, try and find my paint roller. I know I bought one before, but I have no idea uh, where I left it. Is it in one of these chests down here? No, they seem to be uh, pretty empty. Did I leave it upstairs in my room somewhere? 
I know I've bought some before, but I have no idea uh, where I would have stored them. No paint roller in here. I'm pretty sure it's not in this chest here either. Uh, let's see if I can go and find it. Which room would I have left it in? That's the mechanical room. That's the steampunk. Or maybe this one here? Maybe in Santa's grotto? Nope. <laughs> just a load of Santa-y things in there, as I should have guessed. Maybe this room here? Nope. There's just a little healing potion. I have made uh, quite a mess in this place. It's all kind of uh, scattered uh, all over the, the place. There's a few buckets and things in there. A lot of these chests are basically just used for when I'm just emptying out materials and don't know where to put them. Maybe then, I'll put them away where they probably should go and put them in one of these chests. These mainly seem to be weapons and things though. Uh, there's this chest full of all random sort of things. Right, I think I'm going to give up and uh, just go and uh, and buy some more then I think. So let's go and uh, get myself some money and then I can buy uh, another paint roller and uh, this one I'm going to try and actually look after a little bit better this time. So I'm going to grab uh, a few gold coins. I don't remember how much they were but that should hopefully be enough, as long as uh, this guy's not ripping me off. <laughs> and uh, let's go and uh, buy myself uh, a paintbrush. So where's uh, where's the the decorator man gone? Oh, where's he gone? Did I did I go past him? Can you see him anywhere? He was right around here a second ago. Where where where's the guy that I bought the the paint off? Is he is he head up here somewhere? Um, I know he sometimes used to to hang out around that area there. Where's he gone? I look away for one second, and now he's disappeared. Was he standing still somewhere, and I didn't see him? He's not standing here beside uh, hide one of them. Oh, here he is. <laughs> He's wandered uh, right down the, the very end here. You're not being very good for your, your customers running away like that. Uh, right, so I got a, uh, a paintbrush and I can go and grab that and uh, bring it up here. And uh, then I got a, a paint roller as well. Uh, use, oh, that's used to do the, the walls. And then a, a paint scraper as well, uh, in case I want to, to get rid of any of the, uh, the paint. All right then, uh, let's go and, uh, let's go and head back then, shall we? And, uh, try and finish off the, uh, the mushroom. I'm quite curious, uh, to see how much of the area has spread. And whoa! Look at all these bunnies! No, don't go that way! No, I'll save you! I'll save you! Oh, too slow! That's horrible, that thing. It's there to keep the googlies out. Uh, but yeah, sadly, I, I have more luck trapping bunnies than I do any of the, uh, the googlies. <laughs> right then, let's go and, uh, head back, uh, to the, uh, the house and, uh, let Let's check out how it is looking. There we go. We've got a, a few mushrooms are uh, starting to, to sprout. And I realise that I've probably put the door in a bit of a, a silly sight. Oh, no, we've got mushrooms growing inside of the, the house as well. And uh, let me move the uh, the door uh, so it's on the, the other side. Because this is pretty much uh, going to be the, the side I'll always be uh, approaching it from. And then let's go and put the uh, the walls back down uh, on this side. And uh, then, yeah, I need to go and make uh, a bunch of these uh, into the, uh, the background walls. Uh, so I can go and place them in. So uh, let me see. Uh, I hopefully you don't need a furnace or anything. Uh, hopefully, I can just make these anyway. So yeah, here are the the different walls, and uh, I just used there we go the uh, the grey brick walls. And uh, grey brick is just basically the uh, uh, the things you can make uh, out of the uh, the normal stone. So uh, let's go and grab a bunch of these. Are these the the walls? No, there we go. These are these darker ones. Uh, these are the walls. So once again. Let me remind you, this is probably looking uh, a little bit ugly right now, uh, but don't worry, it will all be decorated soon and uh, hopefully look really pretty. So all of this is going to be uh, painted uh, a different colour. So it didn't matter uh, too much uh, which material I built out of. The only thing that uh, would matter is the uh, the texture, and I thought the uh, the bricks would like uh, look quite cool anyway, because uh, the colour is going to be completely changed. And oh, there's that thing that I bought. Do you remember in the, uh, I think it was the last episode, I bought that paint thing. It was a paint machine, and I did something with paint. And I can't exactly uh, remember what it did, but I, I think it changes the, um, the colour of objects. So you know, like, I can paint the, the walls? I think instead of painting things like that, it, like, changes, like, the colour of tables and things. I think. I'm not sure, though. I've not used it yet. And so I might have to do a little bit of experimenting and, uh, try and find out. So let's go and, uh, dig away, uh, all of this, uh, this dirt first. And, oh, is it not letting me dig this bit away? There we go. It's just taking a little bit of time. Let's go and, uh, get rid of uh, all of that. And I'm gonna go and change that for the, uh, the stone. And then once we paint it, it will hopefully start looking uh, a little bit prettier. So I'm gonna go and try and make sure I fill it all in, uh, because it won't count as a house. Uh, if there's uh, any gaps. My only worry is because of the uh, the weird way I built it, uh, whether Truffle's going to actually be able to, to get in or not. <laughs> Hopefully he's going to be able to. If not, I can maybe build like a staircase for now or something and uh, allow him to, to get up that way. And uh, to be honest, I'm quite glad I'm on the, the inside and not the, the outside right now, seeing as it is a uh, nighttime and all the googlies are showing up. And oh, I left the door open though. 
<laughs> let's go down here and uh, let's go and uh, shut the door because uh, apparently it's uh, a full moon tonight because uh, all of the uh, the werewolves are, are coming out. All uh, right, there's uh, a few more gaps up here. Uh, let me go up here and try and fill this in. And then, of course, the uh, the big patch of uh, dirt in the, uh, the bottom corner. And as I mentioned earlier, I'm not quick and I'm not neat. I'm not tidy, but I do eventually get the uh, the job done. Uh, so let's just go and uh, destroy all of this uh, background wall and then I can go and put down the... Um uh, the, uh, yeah, the, the grey brick uh, in the, the background as well. I'm going to destroy it all the way down here as well. And uh, go and fill it uh, this in. And then we're going to go and try painting it. Hopefully, it paints it quite a, a bright colour. Sometimes the uh, the backgrounds uh, can look a little bit dull in this game. So hopefully, uh, it is going to look really bright and, uh, and colourful. Uh, because that's the, the aim. And oh, I need to destroy the, the dirt down here as well. And I will eventually uh, destroy all of the uh, the dirt in the, uh, the background of this area. I'm just not going to worry about it for now. Because it doesn't matter too much. All I'm trying to do is make a nice place uh, so Truffle is going to, to want to, to show up uh, so I can buy the, the spear off him. So is this the, the entire thing filled in now? Uh, what I normally do is kind of just go around swinging like this and then if there are any other gaps uh, they kind of just get filled in like this. If I kind of go down here as well and uh, make sure there's nothing else here. Oh there's a, a wraith here actually. Let's go and uh, take out the, the wraith. Those guys uh, can be pretty deadly actually and as you can see uh, they sort of ignore walls and, <laughs> and just come and head, uh, head straight in here. So I do believe it's uh, now entirely filled in, so hopefully uh, this is going to be uh, considered uh, to, to be a house, and at some point, uh, Truffle is, uh, is going to, to show up. So uh, let's have a, a little quick test to go painting. I won't get it all painted now, uh, but let me just see uh, what it uh, looks like painted. So uh, let me remember how I do this. So I got my, my roller, which is used to do the, the walls, and I guess if I just do it next to the red paint... Oh, I saw it. It splattered. It splattered. Okay, I'm wasting the paint. But the background isn't being colored. Do I need to do these bits like this? Okay, I'm running out of paint, but it's not painting the, the background. What about this? Can I not paint brick? Why is it not painting? Oh, maybe I can't do it with brick. That would be really bad. Let me try uh, doing some wood and see if the, the wood gets painted then. Um, oh, no! It doesn't work. I can't paint the brick. All of this <laughs> doesn't even work. Right. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. What I'm going to do is I'll end this episode here and then I'll go over the uh, the same shape uh, but with the uh, the wood and uh, then I can uh, paint that. I should have probably tested to see whether you can paint bricks before I started building the entire thing but oh well. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh, well, it's, uh, it's been good fun anyway, and uh, I've got the uh, the bio uh, starting to, to grow now. So hopefully uh, by the next episode that would have grown, and then I'll get the, the house finished, and then yeah, we should be having a visit from a truffle. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that is the, uh, the end of this episode here. As always, I'll be leaving a link in the uh, description to the next episode, uh, which will be online as soon as I can get it online. Uh, but for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!